name is Frank Holberg. I'm uh, one of the founders of Open Exchange, and my position is I'm uh, executive vice president of sales and marketing in Open Exchange. So Open Exchange is a, is a, is a long-time partner of, of Parallels. We started the partnership with, with Parallels in, in 2006, basically, and uh, at that time, uh, Parallels thought about uh, to have an alternative offering to their Microsoft Exchange customers, which is coming from the open source space, and that really was triggered by uh, big customers of ours, like One and One, and the One and One guys are also customers of, of Parallels. So this was basically the introduction, and that since that time we are working together. So it's a very logical step for us uh, to, to, to be on those events with Parallels. It's not only this event, it's basically we are on all Parallels events because um, we have the same customers, we go after the, the same customers and we, we provide a lot of value together with our with our, uh, with our uh, solutions which are integrated uh, to those customers and partners. You know, Parallels is um, a kind of de facto standard uh, for automation and virtualization, virtualization in the in the in the hosting market, whether it's web hosting companies or it's uh, telco mar telco companies, uh, carriers, ISPs. So they are very very strong there. They have a big big market share there, and they, and they of course have customer access with uh, with uh, with their products. And therefore, for Open Exchange, um, as we joined the market in, in, in 2005 2006, it was very interesting for us to work with a very, very strong partner uh, backing us in this area. So um, that also has some relation to Parallels, of course, um, because Parallels right now, and Parallels Automation and the Parallels products right now uh, um, and, and, and the, the, gen, the generation we have out with Parallels products right now and what's coming uh, will go towards uh, supporting more and more the software as a service market because um, Parallels customers and of course ours need to think about how to how to give their, 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 their customers more value, more services and software as a service is basically uh, the vehicle to do that. And for the for the European market, it, it, it's very important because Parallels is here very strong, and um, and also the, the 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 European market with 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 the web hosting companies and the telcos are really thinking about to offer new services, uh, which are basically software as a services uh, uh, products because they need to go up the food chain and 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 uh, and uh, do a lot for customer retention to keep their customers in, in, in the boat but also to new to, to win new customers with software as a service product because especially the small and medium business market is very interesting for them they have a lot of customers in this market play, in this in this market and uh, they are they are well prepared to offer new services new software services to those kind of customers uh, the, 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 I think what, what, what's very known in the market, also on on-premises market, we uh, as, as in the software as a service market, is really the, the, the Microsoft Exchange Outlook offering, which is already there. Uh, everybody knows that Microsoft right now is, is, is offering such a services by themselves, by the BPOS offering, but also they are working with hosting companies and they are working with Parallels, of course, to make that offering available through partners to the market. And um, what we what we have seen in the in the past, and that's also what Parallels is driving, that there is an alternative on the market, and there needs to be alternatives, otherwise it's a monopoly here, which is not good for the market in general. So Open Exchange is really an alternative for those kind of companies, really in in, in three different in three different areas, um, and, and and Open Exchange is a kind of unique in in doing that. Open Exchange is basically the only company software company which really has designed and architectured the software in a way that it really fits into large scaling hosting environments. So from, um, from an environment, uh, environment with 1,000 customers up to an environment uh, where we have millions of customers. For example, I mentioned one and one, they are one of our customers, uh, they have millions of customers and they are using Open Exchange in such an environment, completely integrated into their infrastructure. We have other customers like Network Solutions in the U.S., exactly the same, and uh, it can be integrated in such a run. But we also have smaller hosters which were able to integrate Open Exchange in a very, very small time frame. 
to, to, to have an offer in the market which is a good alternative to Microsoft Exchange. Um, that is the infrastructure uniqueness of Open Exchange that is really designed for, for such kind of environments. On the, um, on the feature function point of view, it's also a, a very, very interesting point. Um, that, that everything we are offering uh, as, as features and functions, which is, which is basically the same as Microsoft Exchange, but on top of that, there are some very, very nice other features, like SharePoint features in, 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 in Exchange, which already are integrated in Open Exchange. So without installing a new service like SharePoint, for example, it's already in. Right? And, um, and uh, what, what comes on top of that is that we are supporting different client platforms. So whether you are using a Mac, whether you are using Windows machine with Outlook, whether you want to use the web interface, uh, Ajax web interface, it's all completely integrated and you can use it very seamlessly. So when you're working with a Mac or with your iPhone, you, you, have, you, you can use the native applications on the Mac and use them and they are automatically synchronized, which is Exchange not able to do, of course. But a lot of people are using Macs, for example, right now, or using the iPhone. So that's nicely supported from us. Mm -hmm.